Water pollution has many sources. In some places, rivers and the sea are intentionally used for the discharge of untreated sewage and industrial waste. Surface runoff and stormwater drains in urban areas carry chemical contaminants into rivers. In rural areas, runoff containing chemical fertilizers, pesticides and farm animal feces make their way into rivers and streams. This can result in eutrophication, which is the process by which a high concentration of nutrients, particularly phosphates and nitrates, make their way into a water body. This results in algal blooms, such as seen here in this lake. When algae dies, they consume the oxygen in the body of water, thereby creating the state of hypoxia, which in turn causes the death of other organisms such as fish. Accidental oil spills such as the Arena oil spill off the east coast of New Zealand's North Island in 2011 have huge environmental impacts, causing the deaths of large numbers of marine creatures and seabirds. Oil spills are difficult to clean up and the costs of doing so are enormous. When people are exposed to oil spills, it can cause skin irritations and rashes. Natural disasters also cause considerable water pollution. For example, floods and storm surges from hurricanes often result in water being contaminated by the mixing of floodwaters with sewage. In 2011, the Fukushima 1 nuclear power plant was hit by a 9.0 magnitude earthquake triggered tsunami that resulted in the meltdown of three of its nuclear reactors. One of the consequences of this disaster has been the leaking of highly radioactive water into the Pacific Ocean. Water pollution greatly harms the wildlife of oceans and rivers, as well as causing problems for people who depend on it. This is especially so in developing countries where millions of people lack access to safe drinking water due to the contamination by untreated sewage and other pollutants. A familiar type of pollution on both land and in water bodies is litter. This is when people don't put their unwanted man-made objects away instead of putting them in the appropriate place. This is not just untidy, it can become a major threat to wildlife in both rural and marine environments. For example, the impact of discarded plastic bags, which kill tens of thousands of whales, birds, seals and turtles every year, as they often mistake plastic bags for food such as jellyfish. For example, this monkey can be seen eating a nappy that is washed ashore. 